I might have burnt my cookie. It's a big one. Big cookie. Here's my hand. Here's my cookie. And cookie. See? Big one. Bigger than my hand. It is day two um, without you, unfortunately. Um, and I don't think that uh, we will get to talk today. Um, it sucks. Uh, but hey, I'm, I'm still making videos and trying to keep you up to speed uh, or help you catch up to speed whenever um, we get to talk again, which I hope is very soon. Uh, yeah. There was something um, I wanted to talk about yesterday on the car ride home, but uh, I got distracted and um, like I, I thought the car like the car ride was too short. And uh, then I got home and I just launched into other things and I got distracted. Um, but there was this trailer. Uh, well, there was actually two trailers that I, I, I liked um, that I remember that I liked. There actually only one trailer I didn't like. Um, Annie, I liked, uh, which is not what I'm talking about. The new Annie, where uh, she's a young black girl uh, with the big hair, uh, where it's like, Ch -ch -ch. and Cameron Diaz is like the, the bitchy um, orphan runner person. And then um, Jamie Foxx is the uh, um, Mr. Warbucks, uh, who's like running for mayor or president or something, I don't know. Um, that's not the one that, I mean, I like that one. Uh, <laughs> I don't know why I liked it so much. Um, but uh, the one that I mainly liked was um, Interstellar. It was a Christopher Nolan movie. And there are some dangers with it that I recognize where it might turn into like a, a big sappy movie because it's a lot about um, Earth being destroyed. And um, you know, that's bad. <laughs> and, uh, uh, like, it's not being destroyed, but being so overpopulated that we can't support um, our system, which is basically the human race being slowly destroyed or topping, or, like, using up all our resources. Which, no, I, I won't, I won't launch into that discussion yet. Um, maybe later. Oh, I definitely think I burned this, which is too bad. Um, uh, but it's like uh, Earth is overpopulated, and they're traveling to new planets um, to try, and, or not new planets, but other planets to try and um, expand, to try and colonize, to terraform, etc. And I think they go to Mars, or they mention Mars, and they they show a they show like a red dust planet, which I assume would be Mars. But uh, I think that it's mainly set like in space, um, in the cockpit with, uh, Matthew McConaughey and Anne Hathaway, and also back on Earth, uh, with Matthew McConaughey's daughter, um, and, but I think it's, like, uh, they're going past Saturn or to Saturn, because the main image that they show on the trailer, or seems to be the main image, like the marketing, uh, is Saturn with all the rings, um, you know, and, uh, I don't know if it's a gas planet, so I don't, I think it is, um, I'm not up to up to, I'm not refreshed on my um, planetary. Yeah, that's definitely gonna be burnt. Um, I'm not up to speed. Uh, I'm not. Uh, I'm not refreshed on my planetary composition. You know, knowledge. Um, but uh, yeah, I, it may be one of the moons of Saturn. Maybe. Um, they go past that, or maybe it's a different planet with rings. I mean, that's not unheard of. Maybe they settle on the rings. I don't think you can do that. I think they're, like, those are definitely gas and, like, icy gas or something. Um, yeah. Anyway, uh, it's, like, uh, it's, it seems like a good movie. Um, could be sappy, but, uh, Matthew McConaughey and Anne Hathaway are talking, and, um, he says, uh, you know, he's talking about his daughter, and how he doesn't want her to worry, uh, or she doesn't understand what's going on, um, and why he's leaving, etc. And Anne Hathaway is like, well, why don't you tell her um, that you're you're going to be a hero, you're trying to save the planet. And he says something like, I don't want her to worry, uh, so I can't tell her anything is wrong, or something like that. Um, I can't let her know that anything is wrong to begin with. Uh, I forget what it is exactly, but it's something along those lines. Um, and I don't know, it was just, 
kind of a interesting thing, like a cheesy interesting. Um, Christopher Nolan is not that great of a filmmaker. He may he, <clears throat> he's not bad, but Inception was absolute garbage. Um, like it was a cool idea, but then they turned it into this big action spy movie, um, shoot 'em up, and it was just completely. It just. It seemed like they could have done so much more with it, with this idea of going inside of a dream, inside of a dream, inside of a dream, um, to uh, plant whatever else, and then you don't know if you're really in the dream or really in the real world, et cetera, et cetera. Um, that that could have been interesting. That could have had. Um, that was actually one of my complaints with the Matrix too. Um, really interesting idea, but then they ruin it by making the plot action, by making the conflict. People have guns or um, people are trying to kill us it's that's that's not conflict that's a physical conflict that's not really that relatable no one really cares about that that much um i mean like yeah that's that would be a danger if people had guns or trying to kill you but that's not something that happens to us every day of our lives and that's not something that um is like a, a real human conflict you know um i don't know I think they could have done so much. I think it was just turned into lazy writing at the end of uh, um, Inception. The Matrix, it, it was a little more acceptable, maybe just because of uh, the time um, when I saw it. And, uh, yeah. But Interstellar, it looks like it doesn't have any of that. It looks like the conflict is real. It's like, you know, overpopulation. Um will we survive kind of gravity-ish uh themes to it uh, i don't know if you've seen that yet i haven't um still have i was hoping to kind of watch it together if you haven't watched it yet if you have then you know i'll watch it by myself that's fine this will be cooled in about 10 minutes uh so when this hits 10 minutes this video um, i'm gonna check it because uh, i have to move it to the cooling rack um, and then maybe I don't know, five more minutes, and then I'll I'll try a piece, and we'll both be like, eh, you burned it, you're never cooking anything for me again. But I'm getting better, I promise, I'm getting better. I only, I've never cooked a giant cookie before. Um, I don't know why, I, uh, there's a Domino's commercial running right now, where it's, um, where they talk about, like, these new ideas that they're having, because they're being really innovative, and yada yada, and making good pizza, um, which they're trying to rebrand, they're like, okay, we used to make shitty pizza, now, we are listening to you, and we're gonna make good pizza, uh, they don't, it tastes the exact same, <laughs> I'm positive it's the exact formula, uh, or it's like, it's so slightly different that, you know, who cares, um, which I didn't think their pizza was shitty to begin with, I thought it was just Pizza, you know, it was like lower class pizza, uh, not not lower class, but like you have like Pizza Hut all the way up here, and then you have like Domino's a little down here, and then you have Godfather's and little, uh, then Antonio's and then Little Italy's, and that's like absolute garbage pizza that you get for like you know eight bucks um, for a large, which is really good pricing, um, yeah, but it's like it's so greasy and disgusting and. Um, it's like New York style pizza, actually, um, which I don't. I don't really like New York pizza. Um, that thin stuff that you like double over and eat. Um, that's just like floppy. No way. No thank you. Um, I prefer, um, I guess, more Chicago-ish pizza with the pan pizza, where it's a little firmer and it's not falling over. You know, it's not floppy. It's not like. Roop. It's just, you know, you, you hold it and it might, like, dip a little, but it's not like... I like making that sound. Oh, maybe try to catch the fly. There's a fly in the house and she's scared of it. Um, but, yeah, they were... In the commercial, they're talking about how they're making new things for Domino's um, because they're never going to stop experimenting and it's never it's never hurt them in the past except for the cookie pizza and then the, the lady who, I guess, invented the cookie pizza, supposedly, um, is, is like shaking her head or something but a cookie pizza sounds awesome i mean i'm not saying i would buy it from a store but i would definitely eat it if someone bought it for me i mean the main problem with all these extra things is that i just don't want to pay for them 
<laughs> Does that sound horrible? Um, it's not like I want to steal them. It's just they're they cost a lot. Um, they cost a lot. They add a lot to the pizza, and they're you know they're not why I'm going to your your store. I'm going to your store for pizza and maybe breadsticks or cheese sticks. Um, I'm not really like a guy who buys his desserts, I guess, other than like at the store, you know, <laughs> that's different. Um, grocery store. Yeah. So it's been about 10 minutes. I'm going to uh, move this to a cooling rack. So you're going to have to you know, do the mirror for a second. Hello. Cooling rack. It fell apart. <laughs> I, mean, I, was, I wasn't expecting it to, but I mean, it's not like it's sad that it did. Um, it just kind of crumbled in the middle. Because I guess it's still a little soft on the inside. Which is good. We'll see if it actually tastes good. Um, I'm going to try a piece now. And we're going to... We're going to see. Because it's not hot like I expected it to be. Definitely a little, a little burnt. Probably should have turned it down to like 360. But um, yeah, I just looked online like how long should I cook this and for how much, uh, for how much time? Because you know it's not like one cookie. It's not like several different cookies. It's one big cookie, and so it's a uh, different cooking length and everything. Um, and apparently I didn't get it quite right, which is fine. That happens, right? Just um. <laughs> Maybe the first few times I make something, uh, don't try it. <laughs> like, we have, uh, the stuff that I call quinoa, quinoa, uh, quinoa, this stuff. Quinoa. quinoa. Is this backwards? How do cameras work? Anyway. <laughs> Um, yeah, uh, the quinoa, which I kind of want to, like, it's supposed to be healthy, uh, it doesn't look healthy, but, um, it's supposed to be healthy, uh, and based on the ingredients, it's not really that healthy, it's just less, um, I don't know, I don't, I don't know why, Maybe, are you trying to eat the fly? <laughs> yeah, it doesn't look healthy, but, um, I want to try. I wonder if you can make fried quinoa. Like, it's, it's essentially a grain. Maybe it's like fried rice. Um, I don't know. It'd probably turn out terrible. So, yeah, like that, you would not want to try. I'm not going to do that anytime soon. Um, only when I feel like experimenting, which is not now. Um, in fact, right now, I feel like talking to you. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, I always feel like that. Uh, but... You know, whatever you're, you're gone. Um, it's temporary, and I'll I'll get to talk to you soon enough. I'm I I hope I hope you're okay. I'm actually kind of scared that you're not. Um. Anyway, before this gets sad, um, I want to say I love you, and you're perfect. And I'm really sorry. We'll talk soon.